Uh, welcome back to probably the last episode I'm gonna record tonight because I'm getting really tired. But anyways, we're here, guys. This is the Argentinian playthrough where I mess. I made one of the most worst mistakes I've ever made in my life, and I really stopped mentioning it. But it really does bug me that I made that mistake. I think it's gonna be the last time, though. I think I finally got out of my system. So, yeah. Anyways, people, what we're gonna be start to doing is I'm gonna have a massive purge to my entire economy, like. I'm seriously going to go through and look at all my factories and see if it's going to be worth it to keep it or to, you know, scrap it. Obviously, with, like, militaristic factories, I'm going to keep them around because they just stink all the way until they're, like, actually at war. But, like, factories like this, I don't need that factory in my life. Okay? And, like, yeah. <laughs> We're basically also going to be declaring war on Chile. Because Chile is, well, not any particular reason. It's just because, like, Chile needs to be our next conquest so that we can keep rising above what we were. Because right now we're 12th in the world. 12th in the world, that means we're 162. Yeah, we need to start rising again to become that great powerness that we want to become again. So, we're going to have to start, like, increasing ourselves, getting our prestige higher, getting our stuff higher, doing all sorts of things. I mean, basically, we're going to have to do a lot. But luckily, we are a second day power, so that is keeping us in line. And let's see, you guys, Chile, one more click, boom, we now don't like you. Good. That's how I feel about you. Okay. <laughs> okay, increase this to about 80... We don't need, it doesn't seem like we need full maintenance anymore. It seems like most of our, let's see, administration efficiency wise, we, I think we can support just about 80%. And then that'd be good. Like, I don't think we need too much in terms of, like, administration anymore. Um, spare no effort in relieving. Yeah, let's, I actually have the money right now, so let's not spare any effort. Okay. Okay, keep about, I think we could probably keep taxes about 50%. If I really do feel like it, I'll raise it up. But getting their basic needs, artisans. Oh, it's the artisan class. Okay. Um. Yeah, some of these factories I'm gonna have to have to let collapse, except for these. I can't let all my um. You know, things collapse. I'll keep that around. The real death soul one. Uh, pardon me. Probably keep that around destroy that but you see what I mean most of these are like my gunpowder factories which I can't let be destroyed so there we go and as you can see now we got all these other factories that want to be made uh would be Palm Molina a good place to build a fishing factory let's see huh I wait 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 which regions oh there it is Paulina Oh my goodness, how do you guys still get this wrong? Oh my goodness. Oh, build a steel factory and wield this soul. Uh, no. That wouldn't be smart. Doesn't seem like it'd be smart. Rio Negro. Okay. Negro, probably no. Okay. The only place I can actually build a steel factory is, is in this place right here, Jule. So it's the only place. No, wait, it's not even that. It's a uh, Camencia. Okay, let's see if I can encourage stuff that I want to be over here. I want basic industry. We can stop it from our main place. Okay. Try to encourage it to the point where I can actually build a actual legit factory. While we're collapsing a lot of our broken factories. Okay. And let's see. Oh, it seems like a lot of my capitalists are investing in the stuff they like. Which is fine by me. That means we're finally getting a good capitalistic class. Which is what I like. And let's see. We are not friends with our good friends of Peru anymore. But they'll accept an alliance. But I really don't. I'm kind of thinking about it. I don't think I need an alliance. Oh my goodness. But. Yeah. Let's see. Chile. I think it's time that we had a little chat about you. 
and your iron depot right over here it's right there and let's see how much does this region cover region just covers right about here now nah, okay the better I'm gonna need one more iron depot Okay, guys, if you think it's kind of stupid that I'm doing it like this, I'm going to need at least one iron depot before I, like... Yeah, but I could probably get... You know what? I'm probably hearing his fan scream. You know, you could probably get by an iron depot somewhere else. Let's see. Is there any other place I could probably get an iron depot? Well, if I go over the Congo, I could probably get an iron depot. Hmm. You know what? I got a better idea. Instead of me annexing Chile... Oh, wait, wait. Cancel. Instead of me like taking a region from Chile. And there's the Anno Ultra Liberals. Let's try again. We're gonna keep trying until we like do it. National simulation policies rescinded. What? Oh shoot. Yeah. We need these guys about fit about support them fully in terms of supplies, but Splendid idea. Yes, go attack. Go attack that 3,000. Teach them who's boss. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's get educational schools up in order because education is really popular. And there's a steel factory apparently my country had. I didn't know we had a steel factory. Uh, no. I... That place has coal? What? Wait. That place has coal. Uh, America, could you help me out here? Give me a coal plant. Okay. Do I have coal in my country? No. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, so no, I don't know where my coal was being produced, but it's definitely not being produced there. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, we'll keep building more new factories. The source of the Nile discovered. Yes! All right, that just jumped me back up. Okay, so sources are now discovered. With that, I got back up. That means I can now unite La Plata. Oh my goodness, La Plata. I could probably do the national of that, but I don't want to do that because that could actually, all oh, the embrace the idea of prosperity. That'd be really nice to do. Okay. Okay, and let's see. Um. Oh my goodness. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna keep this open because I actually do like that factory. Let's see, and then regular clothes factory in La Pompta. We could probably close that. Okay. And most of my factories, this is like a major purge going on in my entire business line. Just whatever factories that are not being good are being destroyed. I mean, destroyed. We get, oh well, we'll leave anyways. Yay! But now, look at that, people! We are now La Plata! Which means we not we got more we got more prestige, which means now we're up into the top eight powers, which means we could become a great power here very, very soon in the next couple days. And cigar factories would be really beneficial to me. 40% more farming. Uh please start the integration if you can. Um public education not really wanted. Okay, good. People want illegal child labor. I agree with that. I agree that we should have illegal child labor. I don't believe in child labor for younglings, so let's not do it, okay? Society, I don't want to start developing that trope around us. I trust you guys way too much, okay? Okay, good. And let's see, we got more militaristic consumption. Okay, we're back on, okay, people. I think I turned this around. We got back on track to where we needed to be. Let's see, where are most of my events going to next? So do we really not have any more events? Political science has invented political science. Business tycoon, corporate, militaristic parade um, is a great power. Uh, has a higher military power than 50. Okay. Citizenship test. Uh, I don't. Okay. Experimental psychology. Okay. Okay. So, biologicalism is definitely something we should get. Oh man, and let's see, we got more people coming into, more people are not coming, more people are starting to come back into our country, yes! Because we're actually starting to build up again, yay! Okay, 
And let's see, keep that going, keep our ammunition factory going. Yes, okay. All right, we're starting to fix, we're starting to fix all of our, like, backup right now. It's a good thing, too, because we're actually getting a lot of capitalists from this, which is good. We have a lot of capitalists. By the way, how much does, pop, how much does America have in terms of, in terms of immigration now that we've kind of recovered from our immigration days? 2,000, we have 1,900. That's, can, that's pretty good. And apparently, Canada is just right there, and they have 1,000. Let's see, America has a total population of 6.4. We have a total population of something else less. <laughs> okay, and let's see. We could probably fight both of these guys at the same time. We would need to build one more army, though. Four, five. One, two, three, four. And then five. And then one, two. Okay, and I'm going to have them all meet up in our capital right here. And there we go. So once we get that army built, what I think we're going to do is we're still, I still believe we're still going to um, declare war, acquire core. Oh yes, I got core provinces on these guys. So let's see, what does La Plata enclose? Oh, I got a free core on Bolivia? Hmm. Should really take advantage of that because that would really help me out expansion wise. But... I have to do it you know to be honest that would probably be the easiest conquest right now because it's not really anything I have to really you know focus too much of my army on but just enough I'll wait until I'll wait until the Republican Guard is gone then once the Republican Guard is gone then I'll declare war on them take that land and basically annex Bolivia in one turn if Peru tries to stand against me then what I'll do is I'll also take a little bit of Peru, probably this region right here, Cusco. Because I think I remember correctly, there's some valuable, no, 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 this region. This region right here would be really valuable because I can make some really good, like, guns and stuff. And the population goes good, 10 million, good. Oh uh, yes, we're getting more prestige for a lot more of our actions, which are good. I really don't want to fight these rebels, though. Because that'd be really stupid. But yeah, this is the full... By the way, the guys, if you ever seen La Plata, this is the full reach of La Plata. This is a pretty good amount of reach, and I really do like this country when you actually make it. Because it's really powerful, and you can really do a lot with it. Well, let's see. We're going to try to increase education all the way up. Just boost education all the way up. We want to make sure we're increasing our education by the utmost. By the way, we have full... We still have a good amount of clergymen in our country. Good job, people. Good job for education values. <laughs> and let's see. Capitalists are starting to build up my country more and more, which is really becoming nice. And let's see. Let's see. Republican Guard should be able to turn the government over here very, very soon. At least, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. I have my army out here waiting. I, I have them on the border waiting for them to turn. And let's see. Do we have all of our land... Basically, um, almost on Rio de Sol, build more of this, um, and let's see, we could actually start building some ships, so let's see, let's build some ships, recruitment, colonial map mode, recruitment map mode, ship map mode, where's ship map mode, ship map mode, gosh dang it, I can't, yeah, there it is, naval map mode. How did I not see that? It's naval map mode. Okay, let's start like building up some of our coastal cities around here. Okay, I'm just focusing in on my coastal like provinces. Build up Borios. Okay, get to right there. Get to right there. Get to right there. Just so that I can have somewhat of a navy I can build and have somewhat of extreme stuff. Okay, that's still not enough. Um. Let's start building more fort levels around here. Okay. Start clicking on these provinces and build forts. Build forts. Build forts. Okay. Keep 40k in the bank. That way, just in case the people do something, I can be notified of it. Okay. Let's see. Allied with Peru and Argentina. Let's see. You guys just formed an alliance. Let's see if you guys will accept. There we go. 
You guys accept my militaristic alliance. Good. I want you guys to now prove your alliance to me by... Yeah. If you guys go against me, Peru, you know you'll be sorry. I'm saying it now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys are definitely sorry. Yep. Peru is definitely going against me. What traitorous people they are. So, Peru win against me, people. Let's see. Can I win against these rebels in the mountains? Yes, I can. Pretty much hands down. Not even a competition. Wow. Okay. We got... How much more of the new troops? Two more troops and then we basically have our other army being built. And we get our special event, a militaristic parade! Huzzah! Which means we get 12 prestige for, for just a militaristic parade. Which means now we're officially a great power again! Oh my goodness. We're a great power again, everyone! Huzzah! A lower great power, but we're a great power nonetheless, which means we should be able to get some more prestige bonuses and everything. Let's just quickly go through and go conquer all this land of Bolivia so we get all this resources. And since Peru wants to be a kind of idiot and fight me. Oh, great. We live in enlightened times. Yay, the comet's really nice here. <laughs> the comet event is not evil, I should say. The comet event is actually kind of nice. Okay, um, what I'm thinking about doing is, like I said, I'm going to be taking like a little bit of this lower part right here, so then when we go to war against Chile, we'll have a good amount of stuff, you know, going for us. Let's see, and then you guys are almost ready to go in, but you have to wait for your Hussiers to develop. Boy, man, those Hussiers, if only they were quicker. Okay, let's see. Let's see, we got Peru... Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be like a major expansion, like major. Okay, let's go right here. <laughs> uh, and the best part about this attack, like going against Bolivia, is that they can't really do much to stop me. I'm basically an unstoppable force. And let's see. So that means I think what that basically means is now we are the undisputed rulers of South. Well, basically what encompasses South America, we are now basically low, we're basically other America, I should say. We're other America, no other America is going to compare to us. This is really going to take a while, so let's just go send our troops in, go help siege up the rest of this land, and then we can start dealing with all that technicalities of where they are. Okay, and Peru is definitely not in the mood to fight this war, they are having difficulties Oh my goodness, artillery, 12 pounds. Oh my goodness, we're getting more events now that are really good. Oh yeah, we turn this around, people. We turn this around. Let's see. Major powers, building, fertilizer, capitalists. Really like building. I mean, after this, I think I'm going to probably go in a couple years of just relaxation and not really do much. But for right now, this is really nice. Just having all this growth and prosperity. Glory to Argentina! <laughs> Glory to Argentina. That's all. That's how you have to say it. Just everyone in my country says it exactly that way. Glory to Argentina. Okay. Um, we're also going to start trying to get down here because if we can, then let's see. What would I like to get? There's a specific no because I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Do I want to go? I could probably go colonialism right now because I'm still pretty early in the game. I mean, the event hasn't happened yet, which means if I were to attack, eh. But then again, I'm not really a colonial nation, and neither do I want to start sending my troops over there. But look at that, people, La Plata. I, I really, I'm sorry, people. I'm really proud of my La Plata. Really proud. Really, really, really proud. All right, you guys, go right here. Start sieging up the lands of, of uh, the. Peruvians who are going to get their head smashed by my army of awesomeness because my army of awesomeness is really really powerful oh my goodness and let's see we have a really really powerful army really powerful army really really powerful everything we basically all my capitalists keep people I want into power public education still not powerful enough I'm gonna get it anyways 
we need public education to help us increase our literacy. Like, seriously. Help us increase our literacy. Yes! And with that, everyone, the last minute of the day, we became a great power. We just did it in the nick of time. Oh my goodness, that made me so happy. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun episode. And I'll see you guys next time.